I want to give you a quick introduction to R uh, in R Studio. So this is R Studio. I've opened up R Studio, and you can see there's um, sort of like four panels that you get by default. Uh, let's start with this bottom left one here, which is called the console. Um, here's where I can just start typing. Let's say four plus three. Hit enter return 7 and I can use R as a calculator so I can directly type in here and issue commands to R uh, 1 divided by 440 um, I can right now I'm hitting the up arrow to cycle through previous commands and so you can type directly into the console so that's what this is and it's also where it'll show the output of any commands I run um, you can see here in this panel I can see, uh, you know, I can access, access files. It's where we'll see plots. Um, R is open source, and, and many people from all over the world are constantly creating and updating new uh, libraries of routines to add to R. So that's this is where you could add those. Um, this is also where the help window will pop up. Uh, so. That's a little bit about this panel. Um, how about the top right? This is where if you have some kind of variable or um, some kind of data that you've loaded, it'll show up here. We'll see that later. And then history here, um, this is some old commands I typed, so that some of that shows up there. And finally, this up here in the left top corner is where you can start creating a script. So in a script, you can type various commands. And so actually, let's do that right now. So I could type 4 plus 3 up here. And then I can run this down in the console, clicking right here. You can see I could either click it. It says run the current line. Or I could use, this is on a Mac, I could do command um, return. It's um, surely something similar on a PC. So I could click it. And you can see down in the console, it's run this command. So the nice thing about typing up here is that I can easily, you know, um, I can add comments here. So in in R comments, you indicate with a pound sign. So I might have something like, let's say I type 4, 14, 15, this is week 4. And maybe I say, uh, let's say this is an introduction to R script. So you can see another thing is that there's syntax highlighting in R Studio. So comments are in green. It looks like the numbers are in blue. Um, that's to try to help you, help keep you from uh, making mistakes and keep track of what you're typing. Um, I could uh, show you an example of assigning variables. So let's do some assigning, assigning, well I can spell assigning variables. So to do that in R, let's say, um, Let's say that we want to, um, um, well, no, let's say freak equals 440. Um, and I'm going to do command enter. And you can see now nothing has appeared in the output because all I have done is assign 440 to a variable I've called frequency. So, or sorry, called freak. So R will store 440 in freak. It appears up here in the environment. So now if I type freak and run that, R will say, aha, yes, um, you had already assigned 440 to freak. So let's uh, return that for you. Um, so that's assigning variables. You can do that with the equal sign. Um, R purist like to use this arrow. So that's like a kind of like a less or less sign and then a hyphen that does the same thing some people like to use that because it's um, can be less confusing with other times you use the equal sign for things but this means the same thing um, then I could say uh, period equals one divide by freak and one thing you might notice this is coming up because R is saying oh do you want to fill in this command it looks like there's some other place where there's some function called frequency that pops up. So R is just trying to be helpful there. So I can assign one divide by freak to period. And then 
now since um, I already stored 440 as freak you can see period has already been calculated as 1 over freak which is 440 so the period is 0 0.00227 etc. 